In this question, we're given the input and the corresponding output of an LTI system, and we're asked for the impulse response. Now remember, the impulse response by definition is the output when the input happens to be an impulse. So H of T is the output when the input is an impulse. So by definition, the impulse response H of T is simply what we're given in the question. It's this. So it's 3 e to the minus 5t u of t. Let's clean that up. OK, part b is asking for the system step response. Now, the step response is simply the integral of the impulse response, and we've just found the impulse response. So the step response, S of t, is the integral of H of t. So let's call it H of alpha, d alpha, from minus infinity to t. So we simply integrate from minus infinity to t, 3 e to the minus 5 t, u of t, actually I should be saying alpha, 5 alpha, u of alpha, d alpha. Now, we never worry about that because that just changes. So we replace that with a 1, and that replaces the limit of the integration to 0. So what I'm actually integrating is... 3 e to the minus 5 alpha d alpha. So that's a really straightforward integral. And we can just write the answer as 3 over 5. If you rearrange the minus sign, it's 1 minus e to the minus 5 t. Now, Remember, we're integrating between 0 and t. So the only way this integral will be non-zero is if t is greater than 0. So to reflect that in my answer, I need to multiply by a unit step. So that's just to reflect that t has to be positive. So t has to be positive. So this is my final answer for the step response. What I've just found is the step response, and I found it by integrating the um, impulse response. So you can get the step response from the impulse response by integration. The next part of the question is asking for the response. That means the output when we're given a very specific input. So when you have an LTI system with an input x of t, the output y of t is simply the convolution of x of t and the impulse response. And we know x of t, and we know the impulse response from the question, we just have to carry out a convolution integration. So let's clean that up. So y of t is the convolution of x of t and h of t. So that's the integral from minus infinity to infinity e to the minus 2 alpha u of alpha multiplied by the impulse response, which was, here it is, 3 e to the minus 5 t u of t. 
3 e to the minus 5 t u of t. So it's 3 e to the minus 5 t minus alpha u of t minus alpha d alpha. Remember, we need to do that because it's a convolution. So, again, we don't worry about the unit steps because these simply change the integral limits. So this one here would change this to zero and this one here would change this to t minus alpha. But, oh, not t minus alpha, it would change the limit of the integration. So you say t minus alpha equals zero. So alpha equals t. So we'd do that. But this would only be true if t is greater than zero. So we keep that in mind because we need to multiply by unit step at the end when, when we finish the integration. So y of t equals the integration, this time from zero to t, e to the minus 2 alpha times 3 e to the minus 5 t minus alpha d alpha. So we can simplify this by opening that up. So we can say this is 3. We can get rid of that because t is a constant in this case. So e to the minus 5t times the integral from 0 to t e minus 2 alpha and 5 alpha will give me three alpha That's 3e to the minus 5t divided by 3 times e to the 3 alpha from 0 to t. So that gives you e to the minus 5t times e to the 3t minus 1. And we can simplify that. e to the minus 2t minus e to the minus 5t. And this is where we remember to include our unit step. So we multiply by u of t. Let's write that out neatly. So minus 5t, close brackets, times u of t. So that would be your final answer for the output y of t for the given input. We found it by carrying out a convolution between the input and the step response, or the impulse response. So that here is my final answer.